What is up, YouTube? This is Zach with Dream Media Home Theater. If you guys aren't one of my subscribers already, make sure you smash that subscribe button down below and give me a big thumbs up. Today, I'm gonna to be showing you how to do lens memory on the 16 by nine and the 235 on the Epson 6050. This is something I get requests for here and there, and uh, there is information in your 500 page instruction manual, but I'm gonna show you how to do it quick and easy here. Uh, I did make a video on uh, how to uh, quickly align this projector, so make sure to check that out as well. That'll help you move along quickly and easily. But 169-235, let's talk about it. 235 is going to be for your movies, 169 is going to be for your standard programming. This customer right here has a 235 screen. So we have optimized lens memory one for the 235 screen. Now I'm going to show you in the menu here under settings and memory, you have your different options available. Now, I went ahead and, and labeled, here, let me set this down so you guys can see. All right, I went ahead and labeled them 235 and 16 by nine. Now, I already configured the 235 to the screen, which is what screen we have here, but I wanted to show you 16.9. It's the exact same procedure either way. So, in a 235 situation, when you're on your test pattern right here, you have your bars in the middle. This is for 235. 16 by nine is going to go all the way down to the bottom. So if you're watching a movie, this is great. It's giving you the full experience. But if you're doing something that is in 16 nine, you don't want that. You know, you want, you don't want to hang it on your wall. So we're going to have bars to the left and the right. So what we're going to do is go to back out. All right, guys. So now you've seen uh, how you can go through the menu and select the different uh, options for naming it. Um, now we're going to go in to our pattern. And I'm going to go ahead and hit lens and we're going to zoom. And we're going to shift down. Okay, so now that it's in position, we're gonna go, we're gonna escape out of here. Actually, let me make sure our focus is perfect. And then menu, setting, memory, 16 by 9. We're going to overwrite the old memory. Yes. So now, let's see if it'll show us in the test pattern. We go pattern. Right now we're here. And then if you go to lens 1, see if it'll do it. Lens 1. Oh, it won't do it with the uh, test pattern on here, but you can see it's moving into the position for 235. I'll throw the test pattern up so you have an idea of what I'm talking about in just one second. One button press and it's just getting it perfect for you. And it even shows up here in the top. You're in 235 now. Boom. You guys can see that was a really quick demonstration, so I'm gonna have to play with it a little bit to you know, fine tune it. But that gives you an idea of how to save and adjust your picture 
between 235 and 16 by 9 with the Epson 6050. I hope that you guys enjoyed this video and helped you setting up your new system. I really appreciate all y'all's support and purchases, which is why I continue to make these informative videos. If you have any requests, make sure to drop them in the comments below or uh, shoot it over to our email if you would like to purchase. Make sure to give us a call, shoot us an email. We'd be happy to help you out with that nationwide free shipping and low price guaranteed. It means the world to us, guys. Till next time, this is Zach with Dream Media Home Theater. Thank you for watching.